Hi everyone, it's Linnea here for Ink on Free. Today I'm going to be using one of the newer release stamp sets. This is the Lovebird stamp set. This one is perfect for pretty much any kind of year. I think you could make this little bird into a fall bird. Definitely great for Valentine's Day or spring, summer. But today I'm going to do some stamp layering and create a Christmas card. So I'm starting here with the two birds and I'm just going to position them on a piece of white cardstock and stamp them with blackout hybrid detail ink. I'm going to just continue to stamp these two birds and ink them up to get a nice black outline. Then I'll clean them off using my ink off cloth and just move them around my panel. And I'll just keep repeating this process until my full card, until my background is full of these two birds. Just rotating them to make sure that no bird is kind of going the same direction, looking the same direction that's right next to each other. Once my background is completely full of the outline, I'm going to take the fill in portion and all of this, the portions of these birds can be filled in. I'm only going to be filling in the bodies. I'll be coloring in the tails and the wings a different way. I'm using my Atelier ink cube and this is Marilyn Red. If you have the full size ink pad, that works just as well but I like the ink cubes for smaller images. It helps me kind of save on my ink. Because this is a squishier pad, sometimes if I am using my larger pad, I'll get a lot of excess ink around my image and on my block, and that could transfer onto my stamped panel. So I really like the cubes for layering smaller images like this. I went around and I just used my acrylic block and that fill-in stamp and I filled in all of the bodies of those birds with the Maryland Red Atelier ink. Now like I said there are stamps that you can use to fill in the tails and there's two pieces to fill in each of the wings actually so you could have a multicolor bird. I think it would be really fun for spring to use these birds in bright springy colors like the Sweet Petunia Pink or the Trinity Teal. But I went for a Christmas color so I stamped the bodies in that red and now I'm coming in with a light gold and I'm going to fill in the wings and the tails and this is just a shimmer watercolor. I went ahead and filled in all those portions and I wanted to add a little bit of a drop shadow to the birds. So I'm starting with a just kind of a clear shimmer watercolor but I didn't think that was dark enough so you'll see me in a minute here switch over to the more silver color and that's definitely um, more visible. I'm not focusing on any one light source coming from my page. Instead, as I'm adding these drop shadows to the birds, I'm adding them to the same portion of the bird. So I'm kind of going from the beak all the way to under the tail on each of the birds. And it doesn't matter if they're facing left or right, if they're tipped sideways, I'm just adding that detailed shadow to the same portion on all of the birds. So this is not a true shadow. I just think it kind of helps them stand out a little bit. Once I was done, I also added some gold and kind of cranberry red spatters to the background. I took the sentiment from the holiday wreath stamp set. It just says Merry Christmas. I stamped it with my juicy embossing ink pad and I embossed that with gold brush embossing powder onto black cardstock three times and I trimmed those out into little strips. I'm going to arrange each of those strips right going down the center, pop them up with foam tape and this card is finished. I love all the shimmer on this card but if you don't have shimmer watercolors you can definitely use the fill in stamps to complete this card or even just regular watercolors would look great. On the screen here are two additional videos that I thought you might enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye.